Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my annual slash double annual slash every nine months you will slash. I don't actually know how often I make these videos, but welcome to my channel update, state of the channel, upcoming games thingy. I am so good at my job. Um, we are, for those of you that are new here, or for those of you that um, have forgotten, or for those of you that just like hearing me explain this, the channel works on three distinct queues, really four, although one of them is not really a queue. They are the flagship, the mystery, and the personal queue. Um, very brief explanation because I've explained this before. The flagship queue is kind of how I play the series that I very, very dearly love. Primarily the Persona series, the Tales series, and also, yes, the Xenoblade Chronicles series, although we kind of played all those games, so not a lot more to, like, delve into there. Um, Mystery Q started with Danganronpa, and now I just play a whole ton of games that have kind of figured me out what's going on as their primary clause. Needless to say, as of right now, the two games that we are playing on a routine basis come from these queues. Tales of Berseria is in the flagship queue, and of course we just beat Virtue's Last Reward in the mystery queue. The third queue is the personal queue, and the personal queue is the Ba Channel Ma Rules queue. Um, personal queue doesn't really follow any set specific, it's just games that I am interested in playing. And now that we have finished the mystery queue, the next game that comes up is going to be from the personal queue. There's not necessarily a rhyme or reason to which queue I jump to. It's really just whichever game I want to play next um, of the two that are available. So if I just really, really, really wanted to play um, the next game in the 999 series, I could, in theory, use my executive power and go straight to that game. In all honesty, though, I actually just did that. I finished Xenoblade Chronicles Torn of the Golden Country and just sort of said, F, the personal queue, I want to play Tales of Berseria, and went straight into Tales of Berseria. So I kind of want to... I do actually want to play the personal queue at some point. So I'm not saying that. Um, lastly, over there on the right side of the screen is the release queue, which isn't really a queue. It's more of a... Hey, what game just came out that I really want to play? Um, for those of you that are, like, pay attention, you probably have noticed that the release queue, Fire Emblem Three Heroes in this case, is uploaded every weekday, whereas the other two kind of alternate back and forth. And that will kind of continue. The game that just came out gets more uploads because it's more relevant that I get the episodes out as quickly as possible. The other games are a little bit older, so it's not like I'm missing out on not getting through it. And for those of you, that's not purely a marketing thing. That's not like, I want all the views. It's more of, the longer it takes me to finish these games, the more likely I am to run into spoilers. So I kind of need to finish them quickly. Games that have been out for several years, not a huge amount of spoilers that are suddenly going to show up that, you know, if I've avoided them up until now, I'm going to continue avoiding them. If I haven't, then, well, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Um, lastly, there is the stream. The stream I do want to take a, just a second to talk about. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that on the weekends, sometimes it comes up and it says that I'm streaming. Um, I did recently realize, for, it's, it's annoying, when I go into my settings, the streams are kept in a different folder than everything else, and so I thought that's how it was going. But then recently, I like logged out for some reason and saw the way my channel looks normally and realized it's just got the streams mixed up with everything which isn't really what I want. So I do think going forward, what's going to happen um, is that, because that's the, for a very long time, I avoided actually having my stream be on this YouTube. I had a separate YouTube channel for, for the streams. And I kind of got away from that because like I said, I thought it was treating the streams differently than my normal uploads. And now I realize it's not. Um, so what will happen going forward, just so everyone knows, is that the streams, are going to not automatically publish to the channel. They are going to be private videos. Um, and if I'm streaming something, I will probably publish and make live the very, very, or not live, make public the very, very first stream of a given game I do. But all subsequent games will just be available through the playlist because I know a lot of you don't tune into the stream because you want to watch my videos. You don't want to watch a stream. A stream is obviously a very, very different experience than a video that's kind of meant to be watched and not interacted with. And I totally get that. 
so I don't want my channel getting clogged up with a lot of streams that the majority of you don't care about. But I do want you guys... Now, now that they're over on YouTube, I don't want to go back to Damial streaming either, because that's silly. So... That's kind of the compromise I'm going to work out with. Um, hopefully that works for everyone. The last thing that I want to talk about, and this is really more of an FYI more than anything, one of the things that did happen on stream, um, we did have a very, very generous viewer that basically came into one stream and was like, dude, you need to set up for monetization right now. And I'm like, I am monetized. If you watch that, I get paid. And he's like, no. Do the thing where I can give you money. And so I did. This is not a video saying, hey, everyone, go give me money. Um, but it is a video letting you know that, yeah, now there's a join button on my channel above all the videos. So if you want to put money in, there are actually rewards now for doing it. Um, the rewards... I, 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 always, I, I feel weird about this because I've never been in here trying to make a whole gob of money off of doing YouTube. And so I don't want to come up here like, hey there, guys, I'm here and you should give me money. I've given you... I mean, it's, it, it just feels slimy, if that makes sense. But I do want to let you know, but I don't want you to feel like that this is turning into a... Like, this is not my job. I'm not trying to make this my job. Um, so don't go crazy. Is I guess what I'm saying. But yeah, there are um, four reward levels. Um, obviously, do not feel like you have to join any of them. Level one is really just the thank you level. Level two is for people that used to watch my Twitch and still want access... To, uh, Here's what's stupid. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna level with you guys. Um, level two was the same as the old Twitch subscription that gives you access to the emotes that I made over for Twitch. Thing is, after I set that up, I realized that YouTube doesn't let you designate that, and so actually, even people at level one for a dollar a month get access to the emotes. So, yeah, like level one and level two actually aren't effectively any different. So, um. I actually don't care which one you use. If you come by the streams and you're only giving a dollar a month, I'm not going to give you a hard time. It's really there for people, because that's the the whole reason this is even there, is for people that want to put something in to say thank you. It's not something I expect, and it's not something I'm super stressed about, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Um, level 3... So, level 1 is 99 cents. Level 2 is like 5 bucks a month. Level 3 is 20 bucks a month, and that one... I will draw you some crappy art. I am, as, as you've probably seen from my, like, Let's Review series, is I am not the best artist. I'm getting better, but I'm still not the best artist, so do not think you're getting a Rembrandt or a Picasso or even a lesser-known artist. <laughs> I, I tried to think of a bad artist, and I, I can't. But um, level three, that's what that is for. And, yeah, once a month you can just say, hey, draw me this, and I will get to it. If that one goes crazy, I may have to reevaluate those prices just because, generally speaking, any piece of art I do takes me four to six hours because I'm not very good at drawing. And so at 20 bucks for four hours of work, I'm getting ripped off. So, but it, it, it's not something, like I said, not something I'm trying to make money off of. So hopefully it doesn't go crazy. And then lastly, level four is the insane one. It is $50 a month. And effectively, once a month, you can ask me to make a top ten. Um, if you just want to hear me, and it doesn't even have to be a top 10, you can just say, make me a 30 minute video about whatever the heck you want. Um, if there's a series you really want me to play, I will play one episode of the series a month. I don't know who out there has so much money and so little common sense they would actually do that, but hey, <laughs> it's available. But that said, like I said, I, I don't like doing this. I feel kind of slimy doing this, so I'm going to move on. The last thing is that, of course, as you can see on the screen, there's a whole lot of boxing. There's a whole lot of things that are coming up. So, as I said before, we do kind of jump um, from queue to queue and try to figure out what's playing. But, here are the games that you can expect in the near future. As always, thank you for tuning in. Um, I know I say this all the bloody time. I would do this whether or not I had viewers, but it does mean a lot to me that you guys... You know, I know I'm not the most hype and energetic and spastic and hilarious channel on YouTube, but I'm glad that you guys found something here that you can connect with. 